everything changed in the sky, and almost no one saw it coming. On March 21st, 2025, Washington quietly confirmed what insiders have whispered about for years. A new fighter, the F-47, has moved out of the shadows and into reality. This isn't a faster jet or a stealthy tweak. It's a whole new way to fight from the air. For nearly five years, prototypes flew in secrecy. Test pilots pushed limits nobody admitted existed, and billions were poured into technology that reads like science fiction. Now the veil is lifted, and the consequences are enormous. In this video, I'll give you the clearest breakdown yet. The program's hidden origin, the design philosophy that makes it different, the four technical breakthroughs that matter, how it will be used in combat, the economics behind mass production, the single weakness enemies will hunt, and the global ripple effects. If you believe American air power still matters, type proud in the comments. The F-47 story starts in the quiet rooms where programs are born. Think DARPA seed projects, experimental contracts, and small studios of engineers testing new sensor arrays. From concept to low-rate initial production, the program moved in phases. Research, demonstrator flights, software maturation, then rapid industrial integration. The result is a platform that wasn't just designed for the present, it was designed to evolve. At its core, the F-47 follows a new philosophy. Build a platform, not merely an aircraft. Previous generations prioritized airframe performance first, speed, agility, stealth profile, and then grafted software on top. The F-47 inverts that. Open systems architecture, modular avionics, and service-oriented software are primary. Replaceable sensor suites, plug-in mission modules, and an upgrade path that allows whole capabilities to be swapped in without redesign, turn the jet into a hardware-software ecosystem. Practically, that means the F-47 can accept new sensors, weapons, and AI modules on a yearly cadence. Instead of aging into obsolescence, it is meant to be refreshed. Stealth on the F-47 is multidimensional. It's not just about reducing radar cross-section, it's about managing the whole electromagnetic, thermal, and acoustic signature package. Adaptive coatings and active thermal management alter emissions in flight. Low observable shaping is paired with electronic camouflage techniques that vary radio and radar returns in real time, so sensors tuned to fixed signatures struggle to lock on. This multi-spectrum approach complicates detection across passive and active sensors, forcing adversaries to invest in more diverse, more expensive sensor mixes. For a target detection network, that raises the bar significantly. Where the F-47 truly changes the game is human AI teaming. The jet is built as a command node. It doesn't fight alone. It orchestrates swarms of collaborative drones that serve as sensors, decoys, missile carriers, and expendable attack platforms. The pilot issues mission intent. Onboard AI and distributed autonomy execute tactics across multiple airframes in milliseconds. That architecture turns one pilot into a force multiplier. Instead of thinking in terms of individual kills, think of a distributed battle plan. Drones locate threats. Decoys confuse them. Missiles are routed from safe standoff ranges, and the manned jet oversees the operation. The human remains in the loop for ethical and complex decisions while the AI handles split-second coordination. The F-47 program tried to avoid the expensive boutique trap. It uses digital twin engineering, AR-guided assembly, and AI-optimized supply chains so production can iterate quickly and scale. That manufacturing approach reduces unit costs as volume rises and makes field upgrades cheaper. The economic logic is simple. Accept higher R&D and early production costs to create a refreshable, scalable fleet that over time will be cheaper per capability delivered than repeatedly building one-off legacy systems. That is crucial to turning a capability into a credible deterrent. A capability only matters if you can field enough of it to influence strategy. Two short scenarios show the F-47's operational value. First, penetration missions. Drones act as sensory extensions and expendable decoys, masking the manned jet and drawing fire from layered air defenses. With those SAMs degraded, 
the F-47 can deliver standoff precision strikes or neutralize remaining nodes with minimal risk. Second, distributed command. Multiple F-47s network with ships, satellites, and ground sensors, each acting as a node in a larger mesh. That shared picture enables faster decision cycles and coordinated effects across domains air, sea, and land act as one system. The net result is shorter timelines to achieve objectives and fewer exposed forces. No system is perfect. The F-47's strength, its reliance on networks and data fusion is also its primary vulnerability. Dependence on secure low latency links creates attack surfaces for jamming, deception, and cyber intrusion. If an adversary can blind or mislead the sensors that feed the F-47's AI, the advantage can evaporate. That means the next decisive contest is not just airframe versus airframe. It is cyber resilience, electronic warfare, and supply chain security. Countermeasures will focus on hardened comms, redundant sensor paths, low probability of intercept links, and AI models resilient to adversarial inputs. Expect intensive development in electronic protection and deception detection as rival states race to blunt this advantage. The F-47 changes more than tactics. It changes budgets, basing, and alliances. Allies will seek co-production to access the ecosystem. Adversaries will accelerate counter-programs or invest in asymmetric means to deny access, such as advanced jamming, decoy networks, or anti-satellite efforts. Domestically, the program shifts procurement towards sustainment, software teams, and supply chain resilience. Strategically, the F-47 embodies a key lesson. Future dominance favors adaptable network systems that can be upgraded continuously rather than static platforms frozen in time. Final takeaway, the F-47 is not just a plane. It's an operating concept that elevates integration, AI, and production practices as the decisive factors in air power. It creates enormous advantage, but only for whoever can protect the data and networks it depends on. If this changed how you think about air power, drop proud in the comments, hit like, and subscribe for first look updates. Veterans and active service members share your experience below. Your perspective matters. We'll be tracking the F-47 story closely.